Hey, what's going on guys so in this video i'm going to show you a tool you guys can actually use to create text animations and with this i'm going to show you and this is going to be a series where i'll be showing you some scripts and some plugins that you guys can actually use to speed up your workflow and to help you do certain tasks very fast today the tool i'm going to show you is called the test evil if you have installed this script if you go to your windows and you go to just copy this to your script folder in your after effect and you're going to see it here it's called test evil 2 so i have mine here so all you have to do is just create hit on the plus so you have a test here so it's going to give you a keyframes two keyframes and uh, the start and the end with an ease so if i go to my graph you can see it have already have an ease so if you don't want this type of ease you can also go back to the graph and just change the easing so all you have to do is just center your your anger point and make sure it's in the middle so just go and put it in the middle and with this let's go to the effect control and so with this uh, you can see there's nothing happening here because we've not created any animation but let me quickly go through you how this thing works so if you go to the plus you're going to add you can rename this to any test you want so you just double click and rename it to anything you want and you can also just uh go to so this option is let me break this down so this if you click on it you're just going to add a new test uh, a test evil uh, animation and if you go to this you know this uh, you just have to delete it this is for rename and this for this if i click on this this you can also create an animation based on your letters letters spaceless and words lines and you cancel so all these are uh, the preference you guys can use so if you want the animation to be on only the latest you can select this if you want it to be on west you can also select this so all depends on you and we can also convert it to 3d so if you go to a transform and we go to position uh, you go to z if you see the z option here that's for 3d and if you want that to work you don't need to click on 3d here just click on 3d here and you can have the z option is going to work so if i drag this you can see it's working but if i disable this so if i disable this and click on 3d here and i click on z option nothing is happening because it's not using this you have to use it this from here you can save your presets you can go to your preference you can so basically these are the main things you guys can be using 3d uh options for changing the uh, the animation and also you rename delete and add and if you're done with this if i hit you to reveal my keyframes this is my keyframes you can see there's nothing happening here so all what i have to do is now just uh let's try and create some animation so i'll go for position so let me go for y so let me drag it down like uh, let me drag it down like this and let's go down and if i play my animation you can see this is how my animation looks and looking at an option here called the direction this is where you can change the, uh, the behavior of the animation so if i go to reverse so you can see it's, it's a reverse it if i go to uh, outwards and this is how the animation will look so you can see from here is the animation if i go to inwards and this is how the animation will look and if i also go to random so random you can see the letters uh, the letters are going to change so you can create a nice animation you see some of the letters will start changing so you can see from here so this is the random so you can see so this is just the keyframe the interval between so if the animation seems fast you can also drag this so that the animation may take time so this is the animation and this is really a, a very unique uh, test animation to, uh, script so you can dive into this and get, make a whole lot of settings and after that you can just save it as a preset i'll just go to opacity and i'll turn my opacity to zero imagine uh, we are done with this animation all we have to do is just make sure you just select your test evil and just go to uh, this option here save preset so you can see i've made a whole lot of presets here you just go to add 
and this uh, pop-up for count you just type the name of the preset and just click on ok and anytime you want to apply the animation you just select any animation and you go to apply and it's going to apply the animation you did so there's it so let's delete this and let's create a new one and you can also create a test and you can just click on test evil again and it's going to add the animation to the test you created make sure you click on this and turn it to 3d then let's create animation for a test so i'll go to my transform and i'll go to my position and i'll go to my z and let's try make some animation like this and now if we play this so with this we are not done we can also go and change some settings so with this let's go to you can also create a keyframe so let's go to style and let's go to track amount so you can increase the tracking so end of the day you have something like this and they will come together and with this we can also go to uh, position so you can just go and just change the position just like this and now let's play our animation So with this, uh, you can also now go to this option here for the direction and you can change it to any way you want. So you can go to reverse and to change the reverse. So let's play this and let's see. So you can see. And you can also go to random. So if I go to random and let's play this and let's see the results. So you can see. So basically this is the basis of this uh, script so uh, the name is called test evil and it's actually you guys know what to do if you need the script just let me know you know what to do just join the server so you can rotate this so something like this and now if you play this so you can see nice animation so if you like the animation all you have to do is just go to uh, this option and just click on it and just go to add and just save the animation and anytime you are creating your your test animation you can just apply the animation to this this is very easy to do if you're done with the animation you can add your own effect to this guys uh, i really i really recommend this for you if you are not good in making test animation you can use this tool this tool really save you a whole lot of time so guys this is uh actually called test evil and i know some of you have this test uh, animation script if you don't have it you know what to do just can't join the server join my discord server and let me know and i'll i'll send this to you so guys so guys i'm going to see you in my next tutorial uh, stay safe guys. Peace.